I'm Martin Beck and I run the Department for Molecular Sociology at the MPI of Biophysics. What is your research focus? We work on nuclear pore complexes that facilitate the exchange of molecules between nucleoplasm and cytoplasm in all eukaryotic cells. Nuclear pores consist of about 1000 protein building blocks in human cells and you can imagine that as an intricate molecular puzzle and we are solving this puzzle which means we put all the different components into their place. We are also interested in how nuclear pores interact with their cargoes. One example for this are viruses that have to convey a message into the nucleus and we are studying how exactly this works. What methods, techniques and instruments do you use? Our work combines a number of different techniques that includes uh, cryo-electron tomography, proteomics, biochemistry, cell culture, but also bioinformatics, in particular structural modeling and sequence analysis. As such, we rely on a diverse repertoire of infrastructure, uh, advanced cryo-electron microscopes, light microscopes, but also computing cluster and standard bad lab equipment. Why have you become a researcher? I never wanted to become a researcher, but a professional musician. At some point I realized that I'm a curiosity-driven person and that drove me into doing science. What would you tell your younger PhD me? That is very simple, to buy Google stocks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you consider important when supervising PhD students? I take pride in the success of my students and as such my ambition is to prepare them in the best possible way for the phase after their PhD. That does not only include training in cutting-edge technologies but also in scientific thinking in how to go about scientific problems and how to solve them. What is the next scientific breakthrough you would like to witness? A computational model of a cell that makes reasonable predictions about the behavior of that cell. That was the first impression of the back group. I hope you're excited to join us and see you soon.